Pokemon Colosseum and XD are some of my favorite games in the Pokemon franchise, having one of the most unique catching methods of all time. Shadow Pokemon. What's good, Chaotic Nation? It's your boy, Chaos here, and I thought it would be fun to rank some of the hardest Shadow Pokemon to capture in the Ore region, since we are doing a Pokemon Colosseum randomizer Nuzlocke every Tuesday and Thursday right now on the channel. I decided that it would be better for the sake of this video to separate Pokemon Colosseum from Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness because XD introduces multiple Shadow Pokemon per trainer, which really does increase the difficulty far beyond any Pokemon in this list except for maybe like the top one or two Pokemon. So I have separated the games in order to let Colosseum have some spotlight. I thought about using every Shadow Pokemon available in this game because you gotta catch them all. So every Pokemon that you can obtain in Pokemon Coliseum as a Shadow Pokemon was considered for a spot in this list. But ultimately, only 10 can be called the hardest Shadow Pokemon to catch. With all that being said, sit back and relax as we enter the world of Pokemon. Number 10, Remoraid. Starting off this list, we have Remoraid. Now I know many of you are probably wondering why Remoraid made this list. The thing about Remoraid is that it is incredibly frail. Most moves will knock out this Pokemon, and you will also have to remember that it is about 10 levels lower than your team at the time you battle it, which means you basically just have to chuck Pokeballs at it and hope it stays in, which can be a little bit interesting in Colosseum, because, yeah, it's not fun. Number 9, Absol. Moving to the end of the game, we have Absol. Now the thing about this Mon is that it does have a high critical, high catch rate, but it also has the challenge of not being able to heal before you battle this team, because you are locked into a Colosseum style format on Rogum Tower. Absol is used by the second trainer in the group, meaning that you have already fought at least one trainer and captured a Shadow Miltank. This is fairly easy since all of the Pokemon used by the first two trainers in this fight are weak to fighting type Pokemon. Absol also has access to Swords Dance to let it set up its Shadow Rush and Slash attacks, making it a very hard thing to catch. Number 8. Houndoom. Houndoom follows Absol on this list since it is the third trainer in a row you have to face in Realgum Tower. Houndoom is slightly harder to catch than Absol since you have to deal with another trainer who has something that is not weak to just fighting types. You also have to deal with poison from Houndoom's smog attacks and sleep statuses on the team. And it cannot be very helpful if you're using sleep on Houndoom anyway because it might have early bird, which allows it to wake up faster from sleep. So, yeah, that's a problem. Number 7. Skarmory. Skarmory is found in Rogam Tower, but not in the four-person back-to-back fights. Rather, Skarmory is owned by Team Snagum's admin, Gonzap. Gonzap's team is very powerful, but shares some common weaknesses, which makes the fight a little bit easier. Skarmory is the big issue with this, though, since it can lower your defenses and destroy you with both stabs attack because they are both physical in Generation 3. You also cannot take it down due to its sturdy, um, because Shadow Rush would probably knock it out, and it's most likely going to use Shadow Rush because it is a Shadow Pokemon, so you can't do that. So it looks like you'll just have to whittle through this thing's great defenses and hope that it will stay. Number 6, Suicune. Welcome to our first and the easiest legendary dog in this game, Suicune. Suicune is a rough mod to capture, with, which is enough to warrant a spot on this list. Venus's team doesn't put up much of a fight though, which means you just need to worry about catching Suicune. And the thing is, Suicune is also underleveled from the rest of the team here, but it's not too far to make it as frail as something like Remoraid, but it also has a high catch rate, which is a problem. Number 5, Tropius. Breaking the top half of this list, we are going back to finish our battle atop Rogam Tower. Tropius is the last Shadow Pokemon in the line of the four consecutive battles, making it so your team is extremely weakened down, and you have to try a fairly difficult mod to catch. This team is all grass types, however, so you should be able to deal with the team, um, as long as you have a good ice type or a flying type. Tropius is tricky to, due to its fly move, 
causing it to be essentially off the field for an entire turn, which can be frustrating if you're trying to throw balls at it. Number 4. Raikou. Another legendary beast joins the list as Raikou appears in the Shadow Pokemon Lab. Ian owns this Mon and it pairs nicely with his pseudo rain team. Ian has a lot of status conditions on his team that can make it difficult to last long enough to catch Raikou, such as Confusion and Toxic Stall. But a solid ground or grass Pokemon would go a long way to work through this team and ultimately secure Raikou as an encounter for you. Number 3. Metagross. The penultimate shadow Pokemon in the story of this game, Metagross, is a difficult target to catch. It's on a team that is pretty powerful too, being able to confuse you and also take you out with Destiny Mon. Metagross has a high catch rate as well as it is a pseudo legendary Pokemon. Also, this is right after those four fights that I mentioned earlier, but I do believe you get healed before you do this fight, so that is a little bit of a saving grace and makes Metagross just a hair easier to catch. Number 2. Entei. Entei takes the crown as the most difficult legendary beast on this list. Entei is so difficult for the same reason as the other legendary Pokemon mentioned, because their catch rate is so high. The other problem is that Dakim's team likes to spam Earthquake, which means that they could potentially KO the Entei on a switch in. The other problem is that Entei is a lot higher level than your team, which means it's probably going to destroy you itself, so good luck with that. Overall, this fight is very difficult, and Entei is a massive pain in the butt to catch, but there is one more Pokemon that tops this list. Number 1, Tyranitar. Of course, the final Shadow Pokemon in the game is the hardest one to catch. The difficulty here is that you have 6 fights back to back, the 4 that I mentioned earlier, then the fight with the person who has the Metagross, and then this Tyranitar. Also, you have to catch Tyranitar, and also, this fight is really over level. These mods are like level 60, and at this point in the game, you're probably mid 50s, high 50s, so good luck. The team is also a difficult team to deal with, but you do get a Master Ball at some point in this game, which you could use, but that's up to you when you decide to use it. Overall, Tyranitar is a difficult Pokemon to deal with, and just good luck trying to catch it. Well that's all for this video, let me know which Colosseum Shadow Pokemon you think is the hardest to catch in your opinion. Also let me know if you want to see one of these for XD as well, because I didn't include XD for the sole purpose of it being extremely difficult to compare due to the multiple Pokemon on a single team. So let me know if you want to see that video as well, which will be a much di more difficult video than this one to rank because I have to deal with multiple Shadow Pokemon on if you enjoyed this video, make sure you do leave a like though, hit that subscribe button, and share this with a friend to show your support for the channel. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I'm Chaos, signing off. Stay safe, and as always, burn it up.